All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the, back to the six-star challenge. We gotta go take care of Ganon or whatever that thing is. Probably Ganon. He opens the doors really slow for such urgency. Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! And Groose is gonna be an idiot probably. Go! 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 Uh, whoa! What, what's with all the shaking? Uh, the whole ground is heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Kadayo. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There's nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. And on that note, jump. Oh, that's right. You don't just roll forward. Sailcloth. Yeah. I think it broke. That's just what it looks like to me. <sighs> Creepy scales. The Imprisoned. I knew it. The seal has given way. I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping the pit. It must not reach the temple. Oh, there's some on the back, too. No, no, fool. You're not supposed to slam that foot. Now, let me get it. Got it. Now fall over. And let me get the spike. Let me ram it up into your forehead. Let's go. Grab the fruit and eat it. What do you mean you have to do that multiple times? What? That doesn't make any sense at all. Woo! Hello. I'll take care of ones on the ones on the back first. Rawr. Jiggle toes. Go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah! We got him again! Kabloo! Don't jump off the edge, that would be stupid. One! Dos! Twa! One to three in three languages! Well, I suppose one to three in that many languages would be more catchy. Go up. We'll, we'll head him. Oh, hello. You can stop now. It's all good. You've gone up far enough. Ow. Stop it. Roar. One, two, three. I'm going to focus my brain energies and stick it out of my face. Ow, no, you're not supposed to do that. Hold on. Let me get a chance to kill some stuff. Ow, dang it. Nope! 
I'm almost dead. Where's the hearts? There's the hearts. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. That's a phone. Telling me that something's going on. Come on. No. We gotta get him. Oh, okay. That's one. Ow. Dang it. You stepped on me. Fool. Shut up. Stop. Why can you move so fast without your toes? Good. That guy's missing his toes now. Gotcha. This is gonna be the last time. There are so many hearts down that edge, I'm gonna go get them all. Look at all those hearts. I'm full now. One! Two! Nope! Three! There we go. Oh no! You finally got the spike far enough into my head after three tries. Now he's going to fall off the edge, back down into the pit, and I get to seal it again. Maybe. I don't actually know. Maybe he turns into black dust and then goes flying down into the pit again. Oh, or he just explodes into light. Oh, it seals all the scales that make him. Notice on the spike, there's the three symbols of the goddesses. Mm. Now, Gideo, strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Let's go. I wonder if you lounge around here, if it will actually do that. We should try that sometime. What? Oh, no, come on. Whooshing! Yeah, that's pretty sweet, actually. Sweet! Nice going, Gidao. Though the imprisoned had only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple, Gidayo. There is much to discuss. You know, that old lady looks really familiar. Especially that long lock of hair on the right side of her face. Just, just saying. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your sky would strike might just do it. Ah, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Mm -hmm. Ferran Woods, Elden Volcano, and Laneru Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by these three fires will it be fully imbued in the great power for which you serve. Mm -hmm. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song precious to your people, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope for finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere in your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. I'm gonna guess it's the mayor. Just saying.
looks ticked. Okay. I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have all your own role to play in all this. Mm. Gidayo, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. <laughs> oh, this Wii mode is so sweaty. Oh, come on! I couldn't do a thing! I'm totally useless! Can we go tell him that he's awesome? That might be a lie, but... <laughs> I'm just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? All right, no. All right, I will leave him to mope. Can we get back? Could have sworn there was one out here. This place doesn't look that big until you're actually, like, in it. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere useful. Let's try this one. Possibly. Swing! Ah, that looks like it's helpful. Nope. It's right there. I want, I want it. Fine. You suck. We'll go back this way. We'll do it your way. Fine. <sighs> yeah. Nah. Excuse me, Grandma. <laughs> ah, it's the Goron! Great Goron! I've found some! Look! Those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over the place! This has to be the right spot! Hmm. Oh, this could this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I cannot create beautiful tones if wild animals threaten to roll me down a hill. What can we do? I can make pretty music. Oh. Boing. 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 That's it. What are the talking statues the ancient text spoke of? There's just no mistaking it! What'd you give me? Oh, something lame. Something lame that no one cares about. Yep. Yep, that's about it. Boing! Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you find a spot swarming with butterflies, play a tune of great beauty and a gossip stone might just pop out of the ground with a boing boing! Alright, cool. Now let me get back to the sky. Thank you. To the sky! Yes! This might be a little more fun if you could see what I was doing, but, uh, nope. Nobody nope. Hmm. 
We need to go up a lot. Drop into sky. It's actually, where's the school? Because I think we need to go. Oh, is it the headmaster? I think it's the headmaster, actually. Oh, look at that. I'm back, foe. Hey, guy, you're looking pretty upbeat lately. That's the spirit. Zelda will be home before you even know it. Just keep on believing that while you wait for her to come back. Eh, uh, you're silly. Where's Headmaster Gopora? Zelda? Dr. Horwell? Probably in here. Ah, here he is. He's got something to say to me. You're back, Ridao. Good to see you're still in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Hmm. I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Just lyrics. That's all I need. You just want the lyrics? Oh, what a relief. <laughs> you really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. Oh, youth. Guided by... The servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. O oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower. And before you a path shall open a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about two whirling sails, though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that, and what does it mean? Two whirling sails. Hmm. I think we can figure this out. I think we got it. It's amazing that jogging in here takes the stamina, and then you head outside and you're running as fast as that, and it doesn't take nothing. In fact, you can do this. Light tower. He said there was a light tower in the middle. Whirling sails. Is that it? I don't think that would be it. Oh, maybe it is. Cool, where's the other one? That looks like it. Let's head up there. Let's snag that up. Oh. Snag that. Up. Oh. There's a socially inept dude. Must be up here. That's where my uh, loft wing was hidden, wasn't it? Oh, hello, what are you doing? You look like a dude with hair. 
Still no sign of Kukil. Even I'm starting to get a bit worried. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to do that, but I won't, because that's a side quest. And I've already done it in a previous life. So I don't feel bad about it. Oh no! What's up, Gidayo? So you're curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so that it can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down, down off the edge down beneath the clouds. The windmill's been uselessly sitting there ever since. <clears throat> I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. No duh. You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back up, back on there, sure. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put much stock in it. Let's go... find it. Woo! Grab that. I actually know exactly where it was. Remember when I tried to water that bomb flower and found out it was propeller? Yep, that's right. Although, frankly, we're almost done with this. The first time I've been here, been in here this playthrough. Hey, hey kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask me, right? Yep. Huh? huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to think around with? You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here. You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? You know what this means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot... Oh, what's it called again? Ah. Uh. Oh, hey, that's right. I remember. His name's Scrapper. He may, may, may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's uh, just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extra extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy, but I never heard of, much less seen, any such a thing. Take mine! What? You have one? Are you kidding me? It's amazing! So this is an ancient flower? I can feel some slick oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great! With this we can fix Scrapper! Wait right here, I'll have it up and running in no time! Woo! There you go! Thank you, visit. I got a full tank of energy. I'm ready to carry anything. Zzz. Huh? Who's this green clad individual of small stature? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, it talked. Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. The kid gave me the materials. This kid gave me the materials I need to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm, they sure it was him. Well, then I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Verse drunk. Hey now, watch that. Watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around and you're going to help him. Meh. This individual may have restored my operations, but I'm not inclined to offer assistance. Zert. Serving children is very low on my task priority. Zzz. Materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dowsing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you? Zvush. Your name is Fee? Zvush. Should I call you Mistress Fee? Are you looking for something, Mistress Fee? I... I understand. Zvush. At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. Zvush. Zvush. 
We now have the means to bring the propeller back. You may immediately begin your search for the windmill propeller. Master Shortpants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mistress Fee's thought waves. Should you need me, ask Mistress Fee to call me and I will arrive with haste. Bzzat. So, how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. But it's okay, because I already know where it is. But! We shall. Figure that out. Next episode. After I find somewhere to save. Where's a good place to save? Good place to save. Back at, back at the here, I think. Let's not jump off. Woo! Boink. Boink. Ignore the dowsing thingy. Sweet. We can save here. And we will call it. Farewell. Every bloody. I will see you next time.